Today's video game review, we're going to be looking at Castle of Deceit for the NES. Now, this is another, once again, one of those weird baby blue cartridges released by the one and only Color Dreams uh, for the NES, uh, released in 1990. This is a below average, I can't even say mediocre, you'll see, let's take a look at it. So, the title screen looks promising enough, but the game's called Castle of Deceit. And how befitting, because you're about to be deceived after spending a lot of money on this rare collector's item. Here's the story. Only you can avert the doom that looms over your world. You must recover the mystic runes of guarding and reset the wards of protection within the mysterious castle atop Mount... Althos, begin now. Wow, what a novel. Just look at it. Your character looks like a total fucking joke. He's wearing a stereotypical wizard hat, like a purple nightgown, and he's barefoot. Awesome. Oh, and that's really fair. I love how instead of health pickups being represented by like a heart or something, it's just the same shape as your health bar. That was really creative. Oh, come the fuck on. Now's a good time to say the controls in this game are absolutely abysmal. They're stiffer than a fat man in a bakery. God damn! When you die, we are told, you have been deceived. Yeah, I'll fucking say. Push A and start to return. So why do I have to do that? Why isn't just A or just start good enough? Or do you think that's just some shitty typo? Because I really wouldn't be very surprised at all. Check this out. If we press start, it pauses the game. And if we press select, it pauses the game. What's the point of having two different types of pause screens? I see one as a status screen, but if that pauses the game as well, then why not make them both do the same thing? Already, I've had about all I can stand. I got the key, it doesn't fucking work in any of the doors on this stage, I'm stuck in shitty game purgatory, 3.5 out of 10. 